Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are March 31st, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. And welcome to this quick live stream, trying to get it going. I'm sure there's a lot of people going live. Um, I'm having a tough time getting things going here. I don't know if I'm live just yet. So uh, this is an alert video for our friends and family around the world. We just had a 6.5 earthquake northwest of Yellowstone Volcano in Chalice, Idaho. And I'm just waiting here to get stream confirmation. So bear with me. And apparently they're not going to let me go. Oh, there we go. Thanks again for joining everybody. I'm just going to quickly get into our live scene. Welcome again, everyone, friends and family. This is a quick video for everyone around the world. 6.5, large 6.5, striking chalice, Idaho. This is a very strong and shallow earthquake. So please get in the comment section of this video. And let me know if you felt it where you are watching from. I'm in Calgary, Alberta, and I didn't feel anything. Um, and most times I feel energies or even uh, precursors like an animal would. And I didn't feel anything ahead of this. So please stay aware and prepared and get in the comment section. Let me know if you felt it. And again, stay aware and prepared and have a plan, everybody. Shit's getting real right now. And around the world, the last couple of videos I've been warning, this area in the Yellowstone has there's been a lot of shallow movement and deep earthquakes everywhere else. Now what I'm thinking now, we had a 5.2, the Indian Ridge, the antipode to pretty much what Yellowstone and this large 6.5 in Chalice was located. So wow, no tsunami warning just yet. We're going to go to the Pacific Disaster Center here, get a full look. Thank you everybody for checking in in the comments section. Welcome Amanda, welcome Stephen Cassidy, how you doing my friend? Welcome Ricky Spence, welcome The Legend Gaming, welcome Mark Scheinfeld as well, welcome to the stream. This is going to be a quick video, probably about 5-10 minutes long, just updating you on all of the circumstances surrounding this large 6.5 earthquake. So it wasn't close enough to the coastline to cause any tsunamis, of course, but 72 kilometers west. Chalice, Idaho. I'm going to zoom in. You can see Yellowstone Park just east of this large earthquake. There was a 2.9 just in the border with Montana early this morning, which I reported on the video. I'm hoping everybody can hear me now. Let me know in the comment section if you can hear me. Okay. Let me know how the quality is. Do I need to turn my fan off? Probably. I was actually just on a video chat with a friend and for some reason I didn't get any notification at all for this until about 15 minutes ago. Now, apparently this was reported an hour ago, so I mean, how long have these reports been coming out? Uh, let me know in the comments section where you're watching from and if you felt it. There's a lot going on on our planet right now and we are... Interestingly enough, quarantined during some pretty sizable events. Large meteor strike in Africa overnight last night, leaving a hundred foot in diameter crater. Um, very, we have celestial events that are coming up in July that are that only come around every 250 years. And we're on lockdown. 
And while all we're on lockdown, they're installing the technologies to keep our species sustainably going on this planet. Agenda 21, 17 steps to sustainable development to keep the human race going. And there's a lot involved. There's a lot of theories and there's a lot of conspiracies, but I've seen a lot of, um, for say, interesting emails. And if we go into a blackout, which I mentioned this morning in my video for the for three days, if we go in an internet and phone blackout, just know that by the end of this, a lot of people will be taken care of. Um, but at the same time, I think there's a lot of people that are going to be suffering. So prayers to humanity around the world. And stay aware and prepared. And thanks everybody for tuning into this quick, interesting. And I mean, there hasn't been a sizable earthquake, earthquake like this in six years. I had a friend, we were just talking, as I said, when this earthquake happened. And she did some investigating, and sure enough, it's been it's been 60 years. It's been 60 years. So, yeah, wow, that's, uh, that's a long time. Wow, that's interesting. I, th I thought it was only six years, but 60 years since there's been an earthquake in this area. Looking at avalanche being reported four hours ago as well. Oh, wow. Now, throughout this region, and throughout this region, there's been, there's been a no, low pressure system affecting you guys for the last three days, bringing heavy amounts of snow to the higher, to the higher elevation. And that's a lot of snowpack. And especially with this large earthquake that could spark a lot of avalanches and not just in that area probably in the surrounding areas so stay frosty and safe my friends just gonna get into the comment section right now Stephen Cassidy thank you for the confirmation bud appreciate that glad everything sounds good Mark Shenfield says my 98 year old home in Reno has been snapping cracking and popping like spring Interesting, yeah. Who do you know? North Idaho Panhandle. A friend felt it up here at Priest River in Idaho. Priest River. Hmm. Interesting. Priest River. Welcome, Sharon Stanley, to the stream. I thought I felt it a pretty strong one yesterday in Idaho Falls. Oh, you thought you felt an earthquake yesterday? Yeah, well, that was a real one today. Legend Gaming, and a friend tell me about the earthquake. Yeah. So I want to thank everybody for joining this quick video. I just wanted to give you an update on this pretty sizable 6.5 earthquake in the precarious region, Yellowstone. Stay aware and prepared because we do have an incoming sunspot. It's pretty active. So we will have some space weather affecting us as we go into a Venus, bed, Venus retrograde. So uh, friends and family stay aware and prepared. And again, thanks for tuning in to this quick video. Please share this with your friends and family around the world. Stay young and have fun and get your morning news.